Hey what is up guys welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video we're going to be showcasing another autonomous AI agent and that is called IX. Now IX is an autonomous GPT-4 agent platform that is an experimental platform that aims to revolutionize the way tasks are delegated and executed through the use of an off semi-autonomous long language model agent now this is something that is related to baby agi as well as auto gpt but it functions more of a semi-autonomous long language model type of agent and this is something that we covered it on our channel previously and i'll highlight this later on in the video but with the scalable and responsive design ix is able to offer a solution that enhances efficiency and productivity now by al allowing different types of users and developers to create custom agents and chains the platform becomes highly extensible which is able to cater to a wide range of different tasks and adapting to evolving requirements now this adaptability ensures that ix can be applied across various domains scenarios and making it more of a versatile platform now, the main reason why I wanted to cover this application is because it builds on top of what MicroGPT was able to accomplish. Now, MicroGPT, also known as Mini AGI now, is another autonomous AI agent, but it focused more on the minimal aspects of completing tasks. But the thing with IX is that it's able to accomplish tasks at a different type of level compared to micro gpt in this case it focused on minimal tasks but with ix you're able to focus on a different degree of tasks that are way more complex than the minimal tasks that micro gpt was able to complete so it if i would highly recommend that you check this video on mini gpt or micro gpt whatever you want to call it as it's a building form or a foundation of what ix is trying to accomplish Firstly, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support that I've been getting on my actual support page. I actually received a huge donation and I am really, really grateful. And from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the amount of support and love that you guys have been giving to this channel. Now, as a pro college student who just graduated, it's quite amazing to see so much success on this channel. And I really, really appreciate it and love all the support you guys are giving me. I'm going to be striving to provide you guys the best content, the best value. So I'm so grateful for whatever you guys are doing to me, guys, as it really, really means a lot to me. And I'm I'm going to make sure that I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this channel to give you the best content. So I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much for supporting me, guys. It really means a lot. Now, if you guys haven't followed, please do so if you guys haven't already. My Twitter page is a new account that I just uploaded and I post the latest AI news. So if you guys want to give this a follow, definitely do to get the most latest AI news. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I should highly recommend that, uh, or I highly recommend that you actually do this because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So definitely do that. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell and like this video. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So we talked about AIX being an autonomous AI agent, but one of its key features of IX is its support for multiple agents. Now, running it in a parallel and communicating way with each other is one of the main features of this IX platform. Now, this enables for seamless collaboration, information sharing, and collaborative problem solving amongst the agents. Now, this is by facilitating communication between the agents and IX does this by promoting and prompting different collaborative and knowledge sharing applications within the overall platform, which ultimately leads to better results and improved decision making within the system. Now, the customization option provided by IX empowers developers to configure each agent according to specific requirements. Now, this includes the ability to utilize a parallel process, optimizing tasks, execution, as well as improving overall experiences. Now, furthermore, you're actually able to have different types of usage as well as including different types of chains to help it work in different ways. You can actually utilize different agents and upload them on their chains tab. And I'll leave this in the description below so you can get a better idea of how you can utilize this. Now, for the use of other models, you're actually able to leverage GPT-4, but what IX has done is that you're able to support a lot of different models that are supported within Langchain. Now, this flexibility gives 
developers as well as users of this application the freedom to select and leverage different models based on their needs and preferences now what this can do is that it enhances the platform's versatility and performance now let us actually take a look at some of the benefits of ix now the benefits of ix are it's manifold now firstly the platform enhances efficiency by streamlining tasks, delegation, and execution through the use of AI-powered agents. Now, this reduces manual effort, increasing productivity, and allows for a faster completion of tasks. Now, secondly, IX promotes adaptability by enabling developers to customize agents and chains. And what this does is that it ensures that the platform can be applied to various tasks and domain. Now, this is something that we're going to be covering in the video later on, but in terms of focusing on how to install it, we're going to be showing you guys some of the things that you will require to install it, as well as taking a look at some of the features of this application. So to use this, you're going to have to set this up on your own server, and I'll show you this on how to do it. Secondly, you just have to create a request. You enter your request or a task in the chat which is what we saw in the intro, as well as from this GIF you can see right here. And then what happens is that the IX moderator will then assess the task, which we see here, and then it will delegate it to its agents that are best suited to handle it. Now then the agents within IX are equipped with various capabilities, such as web searching, coding, image creation, and interacting with other APIs and services. And what this will do is that it will provide you a general quest and give you the best type of generative answer. And lastly, it is you are able to actually customize agents, and this is by your agent assignment. Now, this is required if you want to have more flexibility or if you want to add or remove customized agents from the chat. Now, this allows this feature is able to allow you to tailor the type of lineup of agents that are being used for this application so that you can get a more precise or more specific type of answers and if this is something that i highlighted with the chains so if you really want to get more customizable with this application you can cu create custom agents using this documentation on the repo and i'll leave the link for the whole repo in the description below now let's get into the installation phase of this video so first things first you're going to need git which is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your cpu secondly you'll need python which is a language editor and this is something that we're going to be using to edit the code of this application lastly we're going to use visual studio code as our code editor to implement the dot n files as well as the api keys into the application what you want to do first is go on to the repo and i'll leave this link in the description below when what you want to do is click this green button and copy this link once you have that copied you want to go on to command prompt and open this up once you are here you can type in git clone and paste the link over here and click enter now we'll start copying the repository onto your computer now, what you want to do is get into the IX folder, and this is by doing CD IX. Now, once you're in that folder, you want to scroll down a little bit. And what you want to do now is actually start installing and making the server. But before we actually get into doing that, we want to actually play around and tweak the API keys. In this case, you're going to need a pinecone key and open API key. As well, if you want to use the web browsing feature, you will need to input a Google API key. So with that thought, you want to open up Visual Studio Code. So you can do Visual Studio Code, type this in in your computer, open it up. And what you want to now do is open the folder of what you downloaded. It will be called IX. You can, be easy, you, you can download it or you can open it up as to wherever you downloaded it. And once you have that open, well, you can trust the authors. You want to go into the dot and template rename this and you want to get rid of the template from the name as well as the dot signature over there and click enter now you want to input your api key pinecone api key as well as the environment all of this is free upset the api key obviously and the pinecone as you need more storage to store the data on the pinecone vector so input these keys once you have that done, you want to click save. I'm not going to be doing this as uh, I don't want to show you my keys, but once you have inputted your keys, you just have to easily click save and you can close Visual Studio Code and then we'll get to the next phase. 
Before you actually get into the next step, I just want to just show you guys for the people who do not know where to get the API key. I'll leave all the links for the API keys as well as the different services. For OpenAI, you can just go on this link, create your new selected key, and what you want to do is copy it and then paste it into Visual Studio Code. Obviously, you need to have some sort of tokens like paid for. So what you want to do is go into the billing, pay for $5. In this case, you won't even require that much. Maybe a dollar should be enough and set your token limit to one dollar and what you will need to do is input your credit card information it's very cheap to fairly use this application so don't even worry about that secondly you need to go on to pinecone and open up a free account i'm not going to be showing you this because my api keys are leaked over there and my the serp api is your google web search uh services so you need to just create these two free accounts and you can utilize their free plans for this application now once you have done that you can input the keys right into visual studio code and we can get on to the next step after you have sa saved the file you can just close it and we can get to the next step so guys to save time i put in the next step where i started installing the dependencies onto my computer so what you got to do is type in this command and paste it into the cdix folder so once you're in this folder you just type in this command pip install dash r requirements.txt and this will start unpacking the files as well as downloading the required packages for this to run this application now once you are done that we'll get to the next stage what you want to do next is start making and running the dev image what you can do is copy and paste each of these prompts into the command prompt like following one or the other and once you have done that it will then launch on your local host which you can visit over here now i'm going to be talking a little bit more about some of the features and that way we can then go with the demo and seeing what we can actually do with this application now in terms of the daily use case of ix you can do a lot of things such as web research you can actually utilize ix to serve it as a reliable research assistant you can get it to do task automation in terms of writing scripts code snippets and this is something that the creator has done on his page you've actually talked about how it can actually write code very good and this is something that you can check out over here as it's able to generate different types of code for different languages now you can also utilize different types of agents as well as chains that are correlated with Langchain. So this is one of the great things about this application in terms of utilizing the different chains. Now you can also do different things such as focusing on integrating different APIs for different use cases. You can do image and design generation which is one of their main features of IX and this, these are some of the many things that you can check out on the actual creator's twitter page and this is something that I, you can check out and leave in I'll, which i'll leave in the description below so you can get a better access towards but yeah that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you found this video quite informative in conclusion i just want to say that ix is an amazing autonomous gpt4 agent which offers a powerful and scalable solution for deploying semi-autonomous agents to perform a various different tasks now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Oh, please give this Twitter account a follow if you guys haven't already. Turn on the actual notifications so you can get the most latest updates. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll leave this micro GPT link in the description below so that you can get a better idea. But with that thought, guys, I really, really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, fellas.